In this episode of the Cub Master Minute, we're going to cover our pack theme for February 2021. Hi everybody, Mr. Maloney here with the Cubmaster Minute, presented by Pack 457 in Zelianople, Pennsylvania. In this episode, we're going to cover our pack theme for February 2021. For those of you who've been watching or listening uh, throughout the course of this year, you'll know that our pack themes this year have been focused on uh, the Scout Oath. But this month, I want to take uh, take a, a month off and focus on something else that's really, really special. In fact, it's really special about today, February 8th, 2021. You see, February 8th marks the birthday of the Boy Scouts of America. In fact, today, the Boy Scouts of America is 111 years young. I was celebrating all day today. I was wearing my nice uh, BSA jacket here. I had a couple of coworkers uh, ask me about it and tell me about their times in scouting. But today I wanna tell you a story about uh, a scout a long, long time ago. So put your thought or put your imaginations on, in high gear and let me tell you the story. It all begins in London in 1909. You see, there was a Chicago publisher, a gentleman by the name of William D. Boyce, who had lost his way in some dense London fog. And while he was there, a young scout came to his aid and helped him find his way. Now, William Boyce tried to give this scout a tip, but the scout explained that he couldn't take a tip for doing a good turn. Now, William Boyce tried to give uh, the scout a tip, but the scout explained that he couldn't take a tip for doing a good turn. Boyce was so inspired by the actions of this scout that he asked to meet uh, his leader, Sir Robert Baden-Powell, the founder of scouting, uh, the scouting movement. But the story doesn't end there. Many others helped make scouting what it is today. You see, Ernest Thompson Seton, was fascinated by the wilderness, and he had established a youth organization that he called the Woodcraft Indians. Because of his background and outdoor skills and his interest in youth, Ernest Thomas Seton became an important part of scouting. His enthusiasm and intelligence turned his idea into a reality. He was, uh, Seton was the first chief scout of the Boy Scouts of America way back in 1910. Then there was Daniel Carter Beard. He too loved the outdoors, and he merged his own boys' organization, the Sons of Daniel Boone, with the Boy Scouts of America when it was formed. Daniel Carter Beard helped to design the original scout uniform and introduced the elements of the first class scout badge. He's remembered as a colorful figure dressed in buckskin who helped form scouting into the, uh, in the United States. There's also James E. West. He was a very special person in the scouting movement. He was an orphan, physically handicapped, but full of determination. And that determination helped build scouting uh, into what it is today. You see, James E. West was appointed the first chief scout executive of the Boy Scouts of America, and he held that position for over 34 years. He's known as the true architect of the BSA. So there you have it, five courageous men, Sir Robert Baden-Powell, William D. Boyce, Ernest Thompson Seton, Daniel Carter Beard, and James E. West. They helped to create the Boy Scouts of America, but let's not forget that it all began with one scout in London helping another person find his way. And because he did that, he got connected to five men of intelligence that had a true love of the outdoors and a desire to improve the youth of America. They had an idea, they had determination, and they had enthusiasm. And they used all of those things to turn their idea into the reality that today we call the Boy Scouts of America. So think about that. As a Cub Scout, you are a part of a 111 year history of scouts that have come before you. Whether it's uh, 
you know, your brother who is now a part of a scouts BSA troop. Maybe you have a father or a grandfather or a great grandfather that was an Eagle Scout. Um, but you, they are all a part of this, and we share in this common history and this common goal and objective, living by the Scout Oath and the Scout Law. So today and every day here in February, I challenge you to think about this history and all that we come from in the Boy Scouts of America and uh, to celebrate, to share with uh, your family and friends uh, the fun things that you have had the opportunity to do in scouting. Who knows? Maybe you will be a scout that inspires somebody else in a future generation. So until the next time, stay safe and stay scouting.